Hey guys, Manuel C here. Welcome back to the channel. The Framework Laptop is finally opening up its borders to those of us north of the wall. If you haven't watched my last video on the Framework Laptop, here's a quick summary of what's been going on. The laptop opened up for pre-orders on Thursday, May 13th, and on the first day, their base and performance models sold out, which caused their service to crash multiple times. The pricing for the base, performance, and professional models is $999, $1399, and $1999 respectively. I tried pre-ordering on the first day, and it turns out they were only taking orders for the United States. However, they assured me that within the next few weeks, they'd be opening up to Canada. Well, here we are, and pre-orders are now live in Canada. The base model starts at $12.99 CAD, which if you consider the exchange rate is pretty fair, especially considering how other device manufacturers drive up their prices once they cross borders. It still only requires a fully refundable $100 deposit, and batch two, which I ordered from, starts shipping in August. They haven't announced pre-orders yet for Europe or Asia, but hopefully in August, once they start shipping to Canada, they open up pre-orders for the rest of the world. One question I had for my last video was how much replacement parts are going to be? Well, the marketplace still isn't open, so we don't know how much they're going to cost. And another question from the comments in my last video was how does a framework laptop compare to the Microsoft Surface laptop? which also has a 13.5 inch screen and a three by two aspect ratio. Well, the base model framework laptop starts at 999 USD and the entry level Surface Laptop 4 starts at 999 USD also. However, this model comes with an AMD Ryzen 5 CPU. To get the same Intel Core i5 CPU as the base model framework laptop, you would have to change the specs a bit and give it a little bit more storage at 512 gigabytes. This would cost $12.99 compared to the $9.99 of Framework. The closest comparison to the performance model is a Surface laptop with a slightly better CPU, coming in at $16.99 compared to $13.99. And for a pretty spec-for-spec -spec comparison to the professional model, the Surface Laptop 4 costs $22.99 compared to $19.99. When you look at the specs and the price, pretty much every comparable model of the Surface Laptop 4 is $300 more expensive. The real difference is in the screen. The Surface Laptop 4 is Surface Pen enabled and has 10 point multi touch support. The Framework Laptop doesn't. However, when you look at the ports, the Surface Laptop only has one USB C and one USB A, and you obviously can't swap these out like you can on a Framework Laptop. When it comes to repairability, according to Dave 2D, the repairability on the Surface Laptop 4 is decent. You can swap out the SSD yourself, but not much else on it is replaceable. Now with comparisons out of the way, Framework has also launched the Framework Laptop Expansion Card Developer Program. With $100,000 of grants, discounts, and hardware over the next year to help kick off the expansion card ecosystem. There are already some designs in progress, like a dual USB-C hub. This could theoretically give you eight USB-C ports on your laptop. And if you're interested in getting a Framework Laptop or learning more about it, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'll be covering news as it comes out. Or if you're interested in other tech news or topics, hit that subscribe button too. If you found this video informative, do me a favor and hit that like button. Now, if you haven't heard about the Framework Laptop before and would like to learn a little more about it, check out one of these two videos here. I'm Emmanuel C. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.